g is an exponential function with an initial value of negative two, so an initial value of negative two, and a common ratio of one seventh. Common ratio of one seventh. Write the formula for g of t. Well, the fact that it's an exponential function, we know that its formula is going to be of the form g of t is equal to our initial value, which we could call a, times our common ratio, which we could call r, to the t power. It's going to have that form. And they tell us what the initial value is. It's negative two. So this right over here is negative two. And we know that the common ratio is one seventh. So this is one seventh. So let me just write it again a little bit neater. G of t is going to be equal to our initial value, negative two times, times our common ratio, one seventh to the t power. And hopefully this makes sense. Initial value is this number. Well, if t is equal to zero, then one seventh to the zero power is one. And so g of zero, you can view that at time as being equal to zero, if you view t as time, would be equal to negative two. So that would be our initial value. And then if you think about every time you increase t by one, you're going to, you're going to multiply by one seventh again. And so the ratio between successive terms is going to be one seventh. And so that's why we call that the common ratio. Hopefully you found that interesting.